Hello and welcome to another video demonstration of LabVIEW Communication System Design Suite. I am Amy Matland, an engineer at National Instruments. And in this video, we will walk through an example from the Software Defined Radio community found at ni.com slash SDR community. We are going to decode an on-off king signal generated by a key fob that you might use to unlock your car. The purpose of decoding this signal is to figure out which button on the key fob has been pressed and to learn about how an on-off keying system works along the way. I have already downloaded the code from the SDR community and opened the Acquire program in LabVIEW Communications. I am going to run the program to show its functionality before I explain how the decoder functions. Our key fob generates an on-off keyed signal at 315 MHz and uses pulse width modulation to send packets of information that include synchronization information, the device ID of our key fob, and a stream of bits that identifies which button has been pressed. When I say pulse width modulation, I mean that the key fob transmits a sine wave for the duration of each pulse which determines whether the bit received is a 0 or a 1. To decode the packet sent by the key fob, we first configure a receive session and enter a loop so that we continually receive data. Every time we receive data, we analyze it. So to determine whether we are receiving a signal or noise, we look at the amount of energy generated at the carrier frequency. We extract a section of the received signal using the number of integration samples as a reference. It's worth noting here that the key fob continually sends packets as long as you have a button pressed. For the extracted bits, we divide the maximum received value by 10 to create a threshold above which all received data bits must be to be considered a received pulse. Now that we know the number of high pulses, we measure the duration of each high pulse in the incoming data. Then we determine which pulses are long or short by using a predetermined threshold. In this example, the threshold is 15 samples. We know what the address of our key fob is because it has not been changed from the default. We cross-correlate the known address stream with a pulse stream so that we can locate the data pulses immediately following the address pulses. The message bits are unique to each button pressed. We know what the message bits are because a zero in the message stream corresponds to a short pulse followed by a long pulse, and a one in the message stream corresponds to two short pulses. Remember that all transmitters are not created equal so the exact pulse encoding for different on-off keying systems may vary. For this example, we have completed our goal. Now we know which button has been pressed. Well, that concludes our demonstration of the key fob decoder using the NIESRP software radio and LabVIEW communication system design suite. The code for this example and many others are available on ni.com slash sdrcommunity. Come join the conversation and learn more about how NI can help you discover software-defined radio.